If we start to get a little more involved with variations, there's a lot that we can do simply by changing key and modulating into related keys. But let's just see just how many types of key relationship there really are. Keys that have the same key signature are related. Here's G major and E minor. They use the same notes, but we have one, two, one, one, four, five in G major, and then one, four, five in E minor. So the jingle bells very clearly is. But Maria durch ein Dornwald ging. is definitely E minor, but we've now modulated to the relative major. And we're back in E minor. Quite definitely a minor quality, we're in there in E minor. But we've had the same notes and it's very easy to modulate between the two keys. Keys which are only a fifth apart are very closely related. These share all the same notes apart from an F or an F sharp, so that it's very easy actually to modulate from one to the next. C major and C sharp major are a long way apart. It's very difficult to get there by fifths, so I can go to get from, from there just by using uh, relationships of fifths. There is a quicker way if I want to go that type of distance. So the third type of relationship is of course major and minor keys with the same tonic. C major and C minor. But it's very easy to hop between those two. Now this is the relationship I was talking about earlier. Here is C major, and here is E minor. As far as fifths are concerned, they're actually miles away. But look at this, if I just use, if I just slide down the C down to a B natural, it's very, very easy to get from C major down into E minor. And if I'm in E minor, I can even go, of course, even go into E major and I've traveled a long distance in terms of fifths but actually a very very quick slide using medians okay C major has uh, an E and a G and so does E minor and that's my common element now there's another type of modulation between C sharp minor, C sharp major, sorry, and D flat major. Again, if I do this by fifths, I find myself going through a series of 12 fifths. But if I want to do this very simply, of course, I simply change their names because on the piano they're the same notes. So this is called an enharmonic change or an enharmonic relationship. And it's very useful for distant modulations. The last type of modulation that we do, we shall discuss, discuss with more detail later when we come to discuss chromatic harmony. But first, we just need to know that here is G major with its dominant seventh. Now those same notes I can use to go in a very different direction. And so having come from G major, can very easily slide by into F sharp minor 
although it's otherwise pretty hard to imagine keys that could be more distant. Changing the scale is a type of variation, and look what this does. This is... This is a Czech children's song, also known in Germany, and if I just change the meter, first of all, into a type of jazz or swing rhythm. Well, now I put this into the minor, slow it down a little bit. to the Moldau. try composing some variations on these lines. And then I would recommend looking in the internet for Handel's variations on the harmonious blacksmith, Bach's famous Chacon for solo violin, and the 32 variations for piano of Beethoven.